Hey YouTube, NFL Report with Shane here. So today, I wanted to talk about the Eagles versus Steelers game. But for a minute, I'm going to be talking about how I feel really bad for Dak Prescott and his injury. He could be out for his career, which I don't think will be out for his career, but I think he'll be out for a long time. It's the day Alex Smith comes back, Dak is injury. And it makes me very sad. As an Eagles fan, I like Dak Prescott. He's a good player. And it made me, as an Eagles fan, emotional when he got hurt. I was like, this never happened to me before. But when I saw that injury, it was so sad that I just got emotional after an Eagles loss. But I feel really bad for Dak Prescott. So let's give him a quick moment of silence. Okay, everyone, after that moment of silence, let's talk about the Eagles versus Steelers game. So, Chase Claypool had an amazing performance versus the Philadelphia Eagles. He racked up 45 fantasy football points. That is crazy numbers. He scored four touchdowns on us. Not one, not two, not three, but four. And let me tell you guys, there was a wide receiver duo out there. Travis Fulgham, who caught 11 catches for 150 yards, who makes me very exciting, excited because he was a guy who'd been on the practice squad of the Packers, got released. Practice squad of the Lions got released. And he was on the practice squad with the Eagles a little bit. And literally on Saturday, the, week, the day before we played the Niners, he... Uh, he just got brought up to the active roster, so it's crazy. That was a great wide receiver duel. I gotta say, good game to the Pittsburgh Steelers. They played their hearts out. The Eagles played their hearts out. But the Steelers won the game overall. They beat us. It was bad, 39-28. to Well, it wasn't necessarily bad. It's just our defense played bad. Our offense was killing it. If you guys didn't notice, the Eagles are scoring a little more by little points per game, I notice. So, the Eagles... Or doing good on offense. Our defense just needs to do their deeds. Like, we give up a little bit of points this week. We give up, like, 38 points the next week. It's like, that's how the Eagles' defense plays. They're, like, weird. Like, I don't think it's the defense. I think it's Jim Schwartz. And when the Eagles had a chance in this game, when it would have been, like, a 50-yard field goal for the Steelers, guess what Jim Schwartz does? Has our linebacker... Nathan Gary, who's not built to be a linebacker in the NFL, give up a touchdown to Chase Claypool. No safety help. Not even no safety help. If you have safety help, then I'd understand a little more. But no safety help because that's a free touchdown. A wide receiver who's pretty fast versus a linebacker who's slow and belongs at the safety position? That doesn't make sense to me. Like... The Eagles need to pick up linebackers also. Like, Howie Roseman needs to get his deeds done. Like, we left Kyle Mugruger Hill, who's having a great season with Miami. We let him go. But there's some positives I wanted to talk about. Once had a good game. And also, not trying to make excuses, guys, but the refs kind of screwed us out of that game. Did you see in the beginning that pass interference call on Darius Slay? That was terrible, guys. That was atrocious. That wasn't a pass interference. But the next one, I'd say it was. And did you see when Wentz threw his first interception of the game that led the points for the Pittsburgh Steelers? It was called a, if you guys didn't see, they didn't call a penalty on it. And that led the points for the Pittsburgh Steelers. It was an interception, but there was a penalty on the Steelers, clearly. But the refs didn't see it. So I feel like next week we play Baltimore. It's going to be a good game. I'm a little scared of Baltimore. Unless it's raining. If it's raining, we'll be fine. But it's not raining, so we don't know if it's going to be raining. Because Lamar, no offense to Lamar, but you're terrible in the rain. Really, though. You're not good in the rain. When we see you play in the rain, you throw like 78 passing yards like versus Kansas City a few weeks ago. So I hope some good stuff happens for the Eagles. We really need it because we come off a tough stretch of games, which our past three, like our three games were tough. The Niners were tough. The Steelers were tough. Now if we win versus the Ravens, then we got a little bit of a break. We play the Giants, Cowboys, Giants, and we play um, 
We play the Browns. The Browns are pretty good this season. F- third place in that division is 4-1. and one. Isn't that crazy, guys? I think it's pretty crazy. Stay safe, like, and subscribe. Bye, guys.